Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes you to museums and historic places. Up next, we travel to Philadelphia to learn about the Museum of the American Revolution. Located two blocks from Independence Hall, the museum is scheduled to open in early 2017. So I pulled together a selection of objects from the collection. I'll give you some of the highlights and also give you a, a, a sort of an indication of the, the big storyline that we're telling um, in the museum. This is the first newspaper printing in English of the Declaration of Independence. And so while many viewers will have seen the large uh, broadsides published by John Dunlap and other printers that would have been po posted up in public places. This is, this is probably the way many colonial Americans first read the words of the Declaration of Independence published in newspapers, of course, first in Philadelphia, but then quickly scattering out through the other um, colonies and then eventually by August appearing in print uh, in London itself. So independence had actually been already declared on July 2nd of 1776. We celebrate the 4th. The 4th is the day that the Declaration of Independence, the final version of the Declaration, was adopted by Congress, and then it's sent off and, and printed. This is Tuesday, July 2nd, 1776. So as you can see, just general descriptions of uh, activity going on in various cities around the world and around the nation, more news things going on in Providence, and Newport, and New Haven, and Philadelphia. And literally, the news, we can imagine, must have arrived very late in the day because they had set the type, they were at the end of the news columns, just before the classified ads. And here, this day, the Continental Congress declared the United Colonies free and independent states. That is the announcement of the birth of the United States. And then, to be sold, the brigantine two friends, and we move on to the classified. So, some ways I, I love showing people that, uh, that volume as much as the Declaration. Um, so that's really the birth of the United States. The Museum of the American Revolution will be a national museum dedicated to advancing learning about the American Revolution. And it will create a single place where Americans can come and learn about the miracle of how this nation came into being, where its ideals came from, and how this original great generation established our country.